The Golden State Warriors over the past three seasons have revolutionized the NBA, and they have been wildly successful winning two of the last three NBA championships. The anchor of the Warriors, who can be credited for a lot of the Warriors' success, is Draymond Green, who is a small ball four. Small ball fours were not taken too seriously before Green revolutionized the power forward position going from post-up rebounders to switchy defenders who can run the offense, dribble the ball, and shoot the three. Due to the Warriors' success with Draymond Green, players like Kristaps Porzingis, who were considered to be gimmicks years ago, are now hot commodities. This has changed the NBA to a point that it's considered important to have a four who can pass, shoot, dribble, and guard one through fives. But there was a player that was very similar to Draymond Green who played 14 seasons in the NBA and that player is Lamar Odom. Lamar was a power forward who played mostly for the Lakers in his career, being part of the two championship teams with Kobe. Lamar was a role player for the Lakers, not a star like Draymond Green, but that's really just a product of the situations that both of them have been in in their careers. Lamar was a great passer. His career high in assist was 5.5 in the 2005-2006 season. He did average 5.9 assists in the 2001-2002 season, but he only played 29 games that season, so I'm not going to count it. Draymond is also a great passer. His career high was 7.4 per game, definitely better than Odom, but I would argue that that's a product of their situations, like I said. The Warriors run a spread pick and roll, where Draymond is often at the top of the key, throwing it to cutters or, of course, finding either Curry or Clay coming off of screens for threes, while Odom played for the Lakers, who famously ran the triangle, which is very isolation and post-up heavy. So there were a lot less opportunities for Lamar to get assists. So if they had traded places, I imagine Lamar could have averaged seven or more assists just like Draymond. But there is one distinct difference between these two, and that's scoring versus defense. Lamar is a much better scorer than Draymond, but he's not nearly the defender that Draymond is. Lamar can attack the basket in the pick and roll, and because he was matched up against slower fours, he was able to blow by them. He's also capable of creating mid-range shots and posting up when switching on to smaller defenders. So he was more of an offensive player, so he's definitely better there. But like I said, Draymond Green won the Defensive Player of the Year award for a reason. He can switch onto one through fives and lock them down. Lamar was also a really good defender, and he had the same switching ability that Draymond had, but he was far from lockdown. So in conclusion, Lamar Odom was Draymond Green before Draymond Green. There are some definite differences between these two, but they come from the same vein of power forwards, and Lamar deserves to be recognized for being ahead of his time. And before I go, as we know, Lamar had some issues after retiring. I'm not going to go into the details, but he has gotten a lot better and he's potentially going to appear in the Big 3 League. I'm really hoping that happens. I would love to see him back on the courts again. That's the end of this video. Please be sure to like and subscribe for more NBA videos like this, and cue the outro music.